Okay, guys. I'm back again. I had to take a break from the grandbabies running around screaming. It was too much noise. But anyway, and I'm exhausted. I've been up since 5 o'clock this morning. I had to be at work at 6, so I'm whooped, and it's like 9 o'clock at night here. Okay, so anyway, this is the Rock Steady by Wiseau. I love this color. It's so vibrant. And see how it's created like a purple from the two blending? That's from the um, Bohemian. Wait, I did Bohemian Blue, right? No, sorry. Hey, Sailor. I get them confused by DIY. Um, blending and creating the purple, which is fine. I don't mind it, but I, I want to bring the rock steady down some so I'm gonna cover that up I don't want the, there's a little more blue than I want so I'm gonna bring this down some so this is what I'm going to do right now I'm sure there's a lot of tired mommies out there like me exhausted even though my kids are grown but I still work full time, so um, we're out. Okay, so I'm gonna drag it down more. See how it's dragging like that? And my brush is damp. I did spray it in some water first. So. I'm pushing pretty hard. I'm pretty heavy handed when it comes to painting. So, you'll probably hear how hard I'm hitting it. But I'm also trying to blend it in to push it, you know, into the other layer. And I don't always like it to be extremely solid. I like when it has like the hazing of the undercoat that's not solid coming through it. Does that make sense? So, I think I'm liking it better because I felt like there was too much blue. So I'm bring this down a little bit more. And it's actually nice when the uh, undertones show through. It's not like a solid double layer because I'm spreading it out so thin. But sometimes those little lighted up areas add a little more dimension to it and make it look cool. See, I got green here. I don't like that. There's a spot of green. And then I'll just try to like follow it around through the front. And that way, that'll be kind of like my guide pink in here, one there, go up a little, so I think that's all right so far, and I think I'm going to try to pull the green, this is also the Joyful from Wise Owl. It, it reminds me of like patina green. It can be in the mermaid family. Spray my brush. Give a little more moisture. <laughs> what I spray you, dog? <laughs> I sprayed my dog. He's shaking his head like, huh, huh? I get you, buddy. This is all I do. I just keep playing with it till I like it. I don't like something, I just go back over it. And like they say, that's what pink is all about. Let's see, I gotta watch, I'm creating the purple right here, which I love the purple, and it actually matches with the design of the patchwork. It has a lot of purple in it, which I love. But I think I'm gonna do more of the purple down here, create a purple look down here. Okay, so as they say, 
it always looks worse before it gets better. But once you put the transfers on too, that also, you know, it adds a design element to it, which really brings it all together. That's what's so great about the transfers. Okay. So I think I'll put some uh, fresh hay sailor down here. Let me see if I can adjust for you. Uh, hold on, guys. I'm going to put fresh hay sailor down here, and I'm going to try to blend some of this in to create purple, but I'm going to do the hay sailor first. Brushes too dry. Okay, this out of the way. I hope you guys can see. Oopsie, almost dropped it. There's my doggy. <laughs> That's Riley. Okay. What's up, buddy? Thinking I'm getting water in your ear again? Mm hmm. Now I had my brush sitting as I stopped for dinner to eat. So it's a little thicker with the paint. It's had the paint sitting in it so it makes the brush heavier. But the water helps break it back down. Okay, I'm gonna try to get on the inside the best I can without bending all the way over because right now I'm too lazy. Okay. All right, that's good enough. It doesn't have to be solid because I'm going to mix it anyway. So now what I'll do is try. Honey, I'm using this charger. You'll have to look for another one. I don't know where they are. Oh, this is my charger. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Good luck, kids. Kids, oh goodness. Mom was on her way home. She went to go help a friend who's preparing for a wedding. And I think they were working on some wedding day for They designed on the computer, I believe. They're pretty crafty with ideas. Okay, that's very pretty, guys. It's getting that, um, let me try to really push it in there. It's getting that purple hue to it. You gotta watch how much I'm pushing. I'm not pulling the paint back on. That's so pretty. Wow. I wish you could see it in person, the color is just Absolutely gorgeous. I love it together. Very green. Beautiful purple. And that's just from mixing the Hay Sailor and the Rock Steady by Wise Out. And voila, what a beautiful purple. And I'm going to actually highlight it a little to get the little pink highlight back in it on the edges. I'm sorry I'm crooked, but I'm trying to get the best view I can. Because right now it's on a tripod. And um, I don't know how much you can see. Okay. So, blanket, like that's really pretty. I really like 
like the purple. Um, I don't think I should bring it back up. I don't need, I did it on the other piece. So, just the baby. I think I'll pull some more of the bohemian blue up. The kids are that way, Ken. Huh? I think he's with Aubrey. Okay, so blend it down here a little bit. Donna's on her way home too, Ken. Forgive me for talking about everything but painting. But when you got a family, this is what you got to do. My kids are my world, so my kids and grandbabies, they come first above everything. Okay. I'm wondering if I should drag any of the purple up, guys. I'm kind of feeling like I should. I think it's be pretty cool. I think I'm going to try it. Okay. Oops, being a slob here now. Been pretty good all night. Okay, let me try it a little bit. I think I'm gonna have to go in this direction because coming up, well, let me go this way first. Actually, you get a little water. Let me go this way first. Create that purple hue. Now I'm trying to go a little lighter, but now I want it to go up. I don't want it to look so foamy. So actually, I'll take some of that purple back out so I can have a little more pink in it. So now I'm gonna pull a little more blue in it because when I pull up, I want it to be able to catch the blue to create the purple. Then go back up again. Get the blue a little bit deeper. See how that looks when it dries. So what I think I might do is pull a little bit more of the blue back down into it. And just wait and see what it comes out looking like. Okay. 
It might blend too much with with the hay sailor. I'm not sure. Once once it dries, I'll be able to tell. And then I'm going to need to pull some of this back down because I don't like that. Try to wash it out the best I can by just rubbing it into a towel and then come back and grab it. Okay. So basically, you just keep doing it till you get the look you like. There's no set rule. Really, your preference. You can drag it all the way down if you want. That's up to you. There's no rule. I'm going to put thicker here because I'm seeing too much of the blue. So I'm going to pull it down more. Let it go thicker here. Okay, I'm gonna wait and see what that looks like. And hope for the best. And if I don't like the four colors, then I'll eliminate. So now I'll start over here on the side and like keep the colors following the front. So right here, I'll just pull this around. And I'll go back over and give it a second coat to brighten it up, but for now I'm just doing a quickie. Let's see. Oops. So then the green is right here. colors peeping through. It looks more natural and it, I like to look better. It doesn't look so foamy. Because that's what you want to do is create a layered like, oh come on now. Let me see if I can turn this. Watch out bye bye. Oh, oh goodness. Got a little bit of a handprint going here. There you go, she's on. Okay, so follow through here, up to here. Okay, now I'm gonna go with the blue. A little bit of blue. I'll come back with other detailing with um I'm not quite sure yet, but probably waxes. And I'm gonna probably put on a ton of colors to where these will probably disappear. But you still want to be sure everything underneath blends. So, depending on the look you're going for, everything will be cohesive. You don't have to worry about it. Okay, pink. I don't like how that's dragged out. I'm going to blend it more. Oh, yeah. See? Okay, so now down here, actually, I'm going to have to pull the blue down more because I'm going to do my purple. <laughs> oh crap, you can't see. Jeez, I got to get a better system here. Okay, so I'm just trying to finish up with the blue here, the hay sailor. 
down here I don't really care I can come back and do all this right now I'm just focusing on this area okay and oops I don't want to put it on that one Terry since I got the purple going through here I'm gonna nail I still have that much on my brush my old raggedy brush but I'm probably gonna add a little water let me pull off that hanging one a little water to it I'm not even re-dipping it because it's such a small area I don't think it'll blend too good if I do it'll be too overwhelming overpowering for the blue so I'm just gonna stick with it so it all blends in. Yep. Such a beautiful blue, or purple, oh my God. Comes out so pretty. I'm gonna put some more bohemian in here. That's where the white undertone is showing through from the piece that I sanded. Okay. Now I'm going to try to wipe some more purple back off from the same brush. So I'm too lazy to get up and get another one. And I want to pull the pink back down again. i got to stop calling it pink. Its name is Rocksteady. Yeah. I think I'm going to have to... Um, Wait till it dries and have, make sure my brush is cleaner so the colors aren't blending. Come back up here in a minute. Okay, I'm sorry guys. I'm trying to work on the pink a little more. This is such a beautiful, beautiful like, fuchsia. So pretty. I'm going to drag it down further so it comes down the sides more. So it kind of looks like it's rolling down. going on there from me not changing brushes, but you know what? That's okay. I'm going to look at it when it's dry and I'll decide then if it looks like it. And what happens is too, you actually build up the layered texture. You can actually feel your layered texture and I like that. down here. See all my stuff I'm working on back there. I'm going to try to come up, see if you could see it better. And there we go. So, that's the start of it. And then... I'll see what it looks like tomorrow and if I want to change anything up and then I'll go on from there because this girl is about to fall asleep I have to get done all right guys take care good night